I always knew how I wanted to work with people. Um, I'm interested in working with people for them to achieve their goals and live what a happy life is and means to them. Um, so I started with an arts degree with a major in psychology um, in the States and when I moved back to Australia I um, completed a chiropractic degree with the view of practicing um, a technique that is very specifically focused on wellness and, and total well-being. I had a very clear idea of how, how I wanted to work with people and how I wanted to support people and communities to live a better life. Um, I originally was interested in medicine and um, just because I'd been living overseas and um, the sort of changeover period I applied for health um, practices in, at universities in Australia and I was accepted into chiropractic and um, I didn't know anything about chiropractic at the time but I started off in my first year um, with all of the normal anatomy, physiology, all of that normal stuff and um, some chiropractic philosophy classes which are focused on the fact that there is an organisation in the world and the universe that um, living things have intelligence and um, a movement towards growth and I absolutely loved it. I thought yes this is perfect, this is exactly what I want to do and so I continued uh, with chiropractic rather than swapping over to medicine. You know I do believe that it's important to be healthy so there are some fairly simple things you can do to look after yourself you know it's, it's smart to eat well and exercise and do those sorts of things. Um, but I actually don't think that's what being well is about or what living a great life is about. So um, I was really interested in finding out what matters to people and you know when you ask someone why is your life great they don't say because I have blood pressure that's 120 over 80 or because um, I have you know the right BMI or because I have this or that. They say, oh, because of my, um, the great friends that I have and because I feel um, like I'm capable of achieving things in my life or um, because I get to enjoy the sunshine and the, and, and the um, good things in the earth. So I really wanted to find out what it is that's important to individuals and um, find a way to help people's focus change from the physical health and doing the right things to what's really important in life and what makes them excited and, and alive. I am very lucky because the field that I went into and the particular technique that I use is really a world leader in actually asking different questions about what health means and creating um, questionnaires and objective measurements that allow us to um, look at different areas of people's lives and um, get an idea about what wellness means to them and work out what they are naturally gifted in and how you can amplify those natural gifts um, so that they can really live the life that they love. Um, it's, it's a very different approach from trying to find exactly which structure has a problem, you know, oh it's my heart or it's my muscle or it's my um, broken bone or it's, it's this and actually finding out what are you really great at, what are you naturally gifted in, what are you naturally interested in and if you focused on those things how would it create a change in the way you feel and the way you think and what possibilities you feel are available to you and what choices you have in life. 
People come to us for so many different reasons and it's generally a word of mouth thing because their friend comes along and says, I went because my back was bad and um, I don't know what they do, but <laughs> I feel different um, in so many areas in my life and I think you should go. So that's how people generally come to our centre. Um, the reason that a chiropractor can um, the reason the reason that my background training as a chiropractor is helpful for looking at um, whole health and well-being is because chiropractors are really interested not so much in the bones but in the nervous system so your brain and spinal cord and all the nerves that um, supply the muscles and the organs and the glands um, so your nervous system is the main control system of your entire body and um, if there if there there is dysfunction somewhere in the nervous system it's generally because um, your brain has perceived a threat or a stress from your environment, whether that's um, a deadline or, or a, a, an emotional relationship or a, um, a, you know thoughts that you're having, whether it's um, physical um, stress, sitting at a computer all day long, whether it's um, chemical stress from the toothpaste we use and the um, food that's not so great for us. All of those things are processed by the brain and the nervous system and um, they send out messages to the entire body and also receive messages back. So um, that matters to your physical health and function and um, it also quite obviously matters to the way that you think and feel and the choices you make and, and what you do in life. Some tips that I am always talking to people about um, is to really focus on doing things that you love doing, things that light you up in life. We are all different and we are all unique and we are meant to be different and unique. And in that way, we create community and come together with all our different gifts. So um, if you are living, you know, your life and your health is, is a result of your day-to-day -day routines. And if you are practicing daily routines that are really not inspiring to you and not interesting, um, you will sooner or later suffer from physical problems um, because your body is telling you that you're just not doing what's good for you. So have fun, be interested, um, get involved in life. Um, I want people to know that it's not normal to get old and sick. It's, it's absolutely not normal. We are able and totally capable of being alive and healthy and vibrant for our entire lives. And um, I was just in Queensland last week and we were having lunch at the surf club and I saw um, an old grandpa there and I was having a chat to him. And, um, you know, he had arthritis and he was sort of, you know, slowly getting along. And, um, but he was such a happy man. And I said to him, what, what do you do? Are you a local around here and what do you do? And he said, oh yeah, um, you know, the doctors tell me that I'm old and sick and that I need to be careful, but I don't miss a day. Every day I get out here, I take a walk along the beach, I pat some dogs along the way, I look at the kids, I smile to the people, and I'm a happy man. And I really think that's a very important message for everyone.